This video is brought to you by Ageless Geeks. Kawabunga dudes and dudettes, this is Anthony, aka BatBomb82, and today I'll be doing a review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Hasbro Pulse Exclusive Lord Draken Evo 3. Now this is one that I am so stoked to add to the collection as it seems like a very special figure, but before I crack this thing open, I want to take a closer look at the packaging. All right, guys, so I really want to show off the box here. Uh, just very special packaging. I love to show off the special type of packaging. Uh, we got the Power Rangers Lightning Collection right there, Lord Draken Evo 3. And I love this whole, like, glass shattered thing. It's supposed to be, like, the shattered grid, which is, like, based on the comic books, which is really cool. And we're going to see that all throughout the box like that, with the exception of the back. And you can see what's going on back there. Uh, we can actually slide this off like so, because this is just a slip cover. That pops off pretty easily like that. Uh, then we can actually see what's going on with the actual box right here, which looks incredible, man. So I want to get a good look at that here because I just think that's such a cool looking display. I mean, even if you want to just collect it in the box like this, I think that works out pretty cool too because that just looks awesome. That power stance going on. You got all the different accessories in there, which is really cool too. Uh, we got an image of Lord Draken uh, Evo 3 on the, both sides like this. And we can flip this around right here. Uh, we do, it looks like we get a comic the Shattered Grid comic book, which is really cool too. So I love that, man. Uh, so cool. And I love this little accessory right here. So I'm going to go to rip this off because I really want to crack this open, man. I'm really excited about this. So as I pull this off here, I'm a little disappointed because I thought this was the actual comic book, but no, it's just like a cardboard, almost like a little mini poster, uh, but it still looks really cool. I do dig this look a lot, man. So you got the an image of the figure like or the character like that, all this green lightning coming around him, the Mighty Morphin logo, Shattered Grid up there, and you see all the crushed helmets and things like that. So this looks really cool, really cool display. Um, I might actually just put this on the shelf with the figure because I think it looks really cool, but yeah, a little disappointed that it's not an actual comic book and on the back of the box behind that little poster we get a really cool image of the figure with all those awesome destroyed mighty morphin helmets and if we take a closer look at the top we can see a short bio for lord draken so if you want to read that bio go ahead and pause it now all right guys so let's check out this new lord draken here uh so first and foremost a uh, shout out to my buddy Ryan Eastman, a buddy in the Facebook groups who was cool enough to hook me up with this figure that's pretty much at cost. Uh, I missed out on the pre-sale, the pre-order, uh, so I was kind of struggling trying to find it, and luckily he hooked me up, so big shout out to him for basically making this review possible, so thank you, Ryan. Uh, this figure looks amazing, honestly. Uh, I'm, I haven't been a big fan of the design from the comic books, but man, see it in toy form. Uh, it's grown on me quite a bit. Uh, so I think the helmet looks incredible. Uh, such an interesting design. Uh, this time we more have a more of a black helmet, same red visor, but I love the gold and the silver around the uh, mouthpiece and this big white tiger sword type of emblem on the uh, upper crown right here. I think it looks really, really cool. His chest armor came out really nice too. Got this interesting like flame logo. Uh, so that's very new here. But again, very, very reminiscent of like the old Mighty Morphin Green Ranger. So I kind of like how they did that all the way down here. Same thing with like the gold arm braces around the biceps. And same thing around the forearms like so. Uh, but I love how this is like kind of like a black and grayish type of color. Then it has like this red lining going throughout. So it's a very interesting look for a Power Ranger. Uh, but I like it. Uh, then you got this, like, it's, I don't know what that logo is supposed to be specifically. It almost looks like an upside down white tiger logo. So I'm not fully sure. So, but it's very interesting. I do like it a lot. Uh, everything about the figure itself looks really nice. Again, the paint came out super clean on this. I really love the gold that they use for all this, the whole thing. Uh, and this time he actually has a cape, which is really cool and kind of like windswept to one side. So I dig the way this looks, man. Really, really like it a lot. Uh, this can be unpegged right here. So if you want to, it's just like on a little straight pin right here and it kind of pegs onto the sides. So if you wanted to pose him without the cape, uh, you can do so. That is an option for you. Um, I personally want the cape on him because it's, again, we don't really see a lot of Power Rangers wearing capes. Uh, so I just think it's a really cool look. But again, if you wanted to do that, you can do so. It is an option. 
Okay, so let's talk accessories now. So, uh, we do get interchangeable hands. We got more gripping hands, one for each side, and then we get two open palm hand ones for each side, uh, which I just like for like dynamic poses and things like that, so they both work out really nice. Uh, they're also on a straight standard pin uh, that we see for all Lightning Collection figures, and they work out really good, so I dig that a lot. Uh, he also comes with Saba this time, so that's really cool too. I love the Saba, the way it's done, painted, looks really, really clean. Uh, whereas the first Lord Draken actually came with the uh, Dragon Dagger here. Uh, so now this version comes with Saba, so it's pretty cool that we're again kind of getting an evolution of uh, this guy to this total badass right here. Uh, you can holster this on the little side like so, or in his gripping hand, and I just think that's so cool, man. Uh, I love that a lot. And, I kind of want a black Saba. Did he have a black Saba in the comic book? I don't remember. Uh, feel free to let me know, but I think a black Saba would be cool with this particular version right here. We also do get an interchangeable head scope, so you can just pop this off like so, and then we can get this head on right here. And this is actually how he comes packaged in the box with that unhelmeted, very corrupted Tommy head, which looks crazy. Uh, so I think it looks pretty good, you know, it's not, I don't think it's an actual face scan, it's just kind of ripped from the comic books, uh, but I think it looks nice, I think they're doing the paint better and better with it Hasbro, how he has like these corrupted veins going through, looks really nice, uh, very long hair with the white streaks going down there, I think that looks awesome man, so I really dig how that came out, very wicked looking Tommy, we're just getting a bunch of Tommy heads. Uh, one thing I will say here, and I'll show this while I have this off, um, when you pop on, especially something like the helmeted head, uh, when you pop it all the way on, it kind of looks like he almost has no neck, and that's partially because of the collar and how this uh, whole armor piece kind of sits up like that. Uh, so it looks like it, he it can come off a little short in that way. Uh, so what I've been doing, I've kind of more or less just kind of resting it on the uh, head there to make it look a little more his more of a neck and make him look a little bit taller so that helps so if you wanted to do so you know you can adjust it or put it all the way down there like that so again really up to you now with this one since he's very special we also get this really interesting display base which is pretty dope it's like these nice looking stones and then you have all these like just destroyed mighty morphin power ranger helmets which i think is really cool the paint on all of those looks really really nice uh, again this is just a really interesting again straight from the comic book i think that's awesome so if you want to do so you can pop these off on there because they're little ball pegs like that and you can take like a mighty morphin red ranger figure right here pop this off and take that helmet because it is just a repainted helmet and now you have a red ranger that got totally smashed on uh by lord drag in there so i think that's really really cool man i love how they did that i think it's just really fun and again this just makes for a really wicked display base because dragon basically destroys everybody uh, so i think it's really cool uh, what i also like to do i like to take saba here uh and there's this little slot right in here and it's actually for the lightning effects that we get uh but i sometimes like to put saba in there like it just stabs through the stone almost like a sword in the stone kind of thing going on so that's an option for you. It doesn't stay in there tight, but you can get it on there. Uh, so I just think that looks really cool. So that is an option for you. Now, we do get these insanely large green lightning effect pieces. These are just wild. Uh, you know, lightning collection really is giving us a lot of effects and things like that. So I think this is really cool. Now that stud or that slot right there is actually built for a little peg right on this like that. Uh, so you actually have to do this a certain way because it is shaped it is, i think it goes this way like this so you can peg that in there uh, and then there are little slots notches right here and right in there and there are little pegs on the green effects too so you can kind of line those up properly things like that and these ones don't stay all that well like that like that so they're supposed to be meant to be pegged in like that and that builds up your base and you'll see some pictures later on with all of these around it, it just looks really cool. It makes for a really cool looking display, man. I think it's so awesome. Uh, then you also do get a second one right here uh, that's more pointed up. And you can do different things. You can kind of like wrap this around the body and make it look like it's going up his arm and things like that. And he could hold on to it in certain ways. And you could play with it and mix it and match it. And it just looks so freaking cool, man. I, I think that's why I like this most. It just makes for a really badass display. He looks menacing and just so freaking awesome.
Okay, so let's run down his articulation here. So the head is on that ball joint, uh, rolls around a little bit. You're mostly going to get right, left and right and up and down a tiny bit. Um, it's going to be very hindered by this collar, so just be careful with that. Again, I like to sit it up a little bit on the ball peg, just to raise it a little much more. Uh, arms can go full 360 if you want out to the side a bit because of this, again, armor piece. Can't go up and out that far. We do get a butterfly joint in there. Rotation at the bicep, double double jointed elbows that work very, very nicely. A rotation at the wrist as well as a hinge at the wrist. Uh, we get a ball peg in the midsection here just below the pec. So that rolls around, rotates, crunches back and forth, that pivot side to side, as well as an actual ab crunch that goes all the way forward like so, all the way back. So lots of good motion there. We got hip joints that kick forward that far back about that much splits all the way out to the side rotation in the upper thigh we got double double jointed knees uh, rotation at the boot there ankles go up down and a very good ankle rocker uh, now I've also noticed some people saying that he's a little short um, I think that it might attribute to a couple things here again I feel like the helmet sits a little too sh uh, down farther down on the actual ball peg uh, but I was also kind of looking here the calves seem to be a little bit smaller so like I'll bring in the other Lord Dragon here and if we bring up to the feet here, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So if you get, if I get this actually focus, um, see how the calf joint actually goes a little further up than this one does. So it goes up to about here where this one doesn't go quite as tall as that. So that might attribute to it being a little shorter. Uh, it doesn't scale all that bad, and, you know, especially if you have him just kind of like dominating over everyone and things like that. So uh, it's not perfect by any means, but it's not bad. Uh, I still think he is an incredible looking figure. This is just one very interesting piece. You know, I love the fact that they're doing things from the comic books, which is really cool. I'm really hoping for more of those comic book designs because I think they're super awesome. I think he's freaking rad, so much fun, totally badass, and definitely a must get. So for a quick size comparison, here he is sitting next to a Marvel Legends Deadpool and NECA Batman figures. Also for comparison, here he is standing next to the first Lord Dragon figure from the Lightning Collection. And for even more comparison, here he is standing next to the Lightning Collection White Ranger and Green Ranger. And just for fun, here he is with Little Lego Bat Bomb. So there it is guys, my review of Lord Draken Evo 3. Now overall, I think this figure is just totally badass. It is a very intimidating action figure, and it's honestly one character I wasn't sure we were going to get in this collection, but I'm glad we did because he's pretty awesome. I love the overall sculpt and paint. They all came out really nice and clean. The articulation works very well, of course, for a Lightning Collection figure. I really dig that unhelmeted head sculpt with the veins and the white hair. It just looks awesome. I really dig the fact that you can detach the cape, which is really nice. But man, his accessories are so well done. I always love that Saba, and the little base with the broken and crushed helmets is really cool. And the fact that you can put them on actual figures is even better. All those green lightning effects really add to the display, and you can do some amazing things with him. He's just so much fun, and in my opinion, a definite must get. So please comment, like, and subscribe. Stay nerdy, my friends. Peace. to have you, and so am I. May the power protect you always.